The question number 21 says that the ratio of the angular speeds of the minute hand and hour hand of a watch is. Now, dear students, you know that this minute hand to complete 360 degree takes a time of 60 minutes, whereas the hour hand from here it will take 12 hours. Angular speed of minute hand to angular speed of the hour hand is equal to 2 pi by the time of minute, 2 pi by time of the hour hand and this is time of the hour hand to the time of the minute hand and hour hand is 12 hours whereas the minute hand takes 1 hour. So divide by 1 hour. So this comes to be 12. So omega minute to omega hour hand is equal to 12. Look at the option. The option number 4 is 12 as to 1. So answer is 4. The question number 22 is the angular speed of a flywheel making 240 revolution per minute. Now, dear student, to find the frequency, the frequency n is equal to 240 divided by 60 is 4 revolution per second. Now, the angular velocity is 2 pi n, so it is 2 into pi and n is equal to 4, so this becomes 8 pi radian per second. And look at the options. The option number 4 is 8 pi radian per second. So answer is 4 to this question. Question number 23. An electric fan has blades of length 60 centimeter as measured from the axis of rotation. If the fan is rotating at 1200 rpm, the acceleration of the point on the tip of the blade is about. These are four options. Now the length becomes the radius which is given 60 centimeter. And fan is rotating at 1200 rpm, so divide by 60, so this will give 20 revolution per second. Now, the acceleration of the point, we know the acceleration of the point will be equal to r into omega square, and that is equal to r is 60 centimeter, we take in meter, and omega is equal to 2 into pi into n is 20 square. Now, solve this one, and you get this answer is 9600 meter per second square. So correct option is answer 2. Question number 24. A bullet is fired horizontally from a height with speed of 30 meter per second while another bullet is dropped from the same height simultaneously. They will hit the ground. First option simultaneously or depends upon the observer. Only one bullet will hit the ground or one after the another. Now, let's say this is the spot and from one spot, one bullet is fired horizontally with speed of 30 meter per second and the second bullet from here is simply dropped. Now, dear student, you know that the time to reach the ground depends upon acceleration due to gravity and the height. Now, as this is coming down, this will also be at the same height and when it is at the ground, this is at the ground because both take the same time to reach the ground and time to ground is from t is equal to 2h by g. So both will take same time to reach the ground. So answer is simultaneously the first option. Question number 25. A bomb is dropped from an aeroplane moving horizontally at constant velocity. If the air resistance is not taken into consideration, then the bomb. Mm -hmm. First option hit the earth exactly below the aeroplane, hit the earth behind the aeroplane, hit the earth ahead of the aeroplane, flies with the aeroplane. Now, dear students, this is the aeroplane as this aeroplane is moving in this direction and bomb is dropped. The bomb with respect to ground gets the same speed as the other plane. The plane has constant speed and the bomb because of inertia will also move this way. But due to gravity, it's coming down. And when the bomber is here, plane is here, this would be here. And when it hits the ground, exactly the plane will be above it. Because both have the same horizontal speed. So therefore, it will hit the earth exactly 
below the aeroplane so answer to this question is option number 1